Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a 155.58, the Bachatillion 155.58. It's the tier 10 French SPG. It's located on the north spawn of Cliff. And this one is under the command of Zoe Balls of Reborn. Now, it's a 155mm gun, done 750 alpha, and it's got a very long reload, 52 seconds, but you can shorten that. And that's because it's got a magazine of three shots and it can do, uh, well, one shot every 10 seconds once it's loaded. Now, so he's taking it off into the trees near the cap, which is not a conventional firing position. Okay, now she's looking for enemy targets and what's she done? She's gone straight to counter battery and I do appreciate that because in actual fact, the enemy is very likely to fire their first shots during the opening moments of the game if somebody goes for the hill and so she's about to see where the enemy RCR we've got somebody going for the hill she's looking for the tracer there's an archie round just gone in there hit the uh, bushes near the house but Zoe's being very canny She's looking for an SU-14-2, an M53-55, or a T-92-HMC. And they should somewhere be in the frame at the moment, but she's seen a more pressing target for the moment. It's a T-44 the other side of the ridge line, a mouse, and she could put fire into that mouse. It's just sitting behind a rock at the moment. She's lined up a shot, gone to battle assistant to confirm, fires the first round in, it hits the rock base. So 10 seconds and then she'll be able to fire the next round. Rounds out. And that one landed near where the mouse was. Now I think she's lining up the shot on where the Conqueror was last seen, which is I think in that corner. She's fired the round in and yep, unfortunately just stirred up dust I think for the moment. Now, now would be a good time to relocate, actually, because uh, otherwise there's a possibility the enemy RT might have been looking for her volleys to see exactly what where she was. In fact, Zoe's got a reload time 46.68 seconds, so she's obviously got a rammer and a good crew. And it appears that Zoe's actually using premium ammo throughout on this one. At least I think it's premium ammo. Pretty sure it is. In which case, this will probably be a very expensive game for her. Okay, we've got an AMX 5120, and he's uh, come up onto the second level near the. Um, I don't know what we call these locations, actually. This, I call it the second, or, or the plateau, because it's um, at the level above the Western Pass. And there's the mouse. She's fired at the mouse and she just hits the rock face. I don't think she can get a shot on that AMX 5120 from her current position. Really needs to relocate, but she can hit that Conqueror. Lines up a shot. Dials in. She's almost ready to go. That's it. That looks perfect. Yes, she gets the kill shot. 68 hit points. First kill on her. Now, there's a bunch of enemy tanks making their way around the hill. They've just been highlighted to us. Oh! She gets a nice hit on the mouse with her last round. Yes, there's some enemy tanks making their way around the hill at the moment, around the lighthouse. An object 257, a P-44 Pantera, and there's a bat chat... Uh, 25 times right up on top of the hill next to the White House. Uh, light, White House? The Lighthouse. Oh no. It'd be terrible if it was the White House. <laughs> okay, she's almost loaded. Three shots ready. Now she's switching over to the far east side. And I think she's deciding to relocate, and I think that, that's a good decision because it'll open up a whole world of possibilities in terms of hitting the enemy. Because um, 
she might be able to get an angle on the mouse, the Pantera, the Object 257. Pantera's decided to come forward. He's stopped behind that rock. Uh, so he's having a lot of difficulty trying to get a solution on the Pantera because he's too close. And there's the 257. He obviously went back around the lighthouse and came the other side. We fired around in. Yes! A splash for 216. Almost got another round ready. Okay, rounds out. Oh, it goes long, but it still stuns him. Our AMX 5120 is probably going to... Yep, he's put a round into that uh, 257. Oh, and that round goes home. Okay, we're in reload again. I'd say it was probably a bit too dangerous now to relocate from her current position without being seen. There's an ISM uh, in grid square D3, as well as the object 257 in D5. And if Zoe was to move, I think they would see her. We've got the batch at 155.55 down in the dip on the western side, so he's already there. You don't want to have two RTs in close proximity because it might, becomes much easier to locate them. But Zoe's loaded, ready to go, and a Scorpion G is making its way close. The Object 257's been killed. Zoe's going after the ISM, lining up a shot. Rounds out. Oh, lands alongside him. Stuns him. And that one hits the rock face. Go for the mouse. Oh, it goes long. That's awkward. Now Zoe's in reload again. She's indicated that to the team. That's another thing that you can do as an RT. Is always signal when you go into reload. It lets the team know when you're going to be available again. I know a lot of players uh, think, oh, uh, well, what help can I be by signaling how long my reload is? But obviously, if there's an enemy tank out there who's relying on RT fire, they know that you're unavailable. Then obviously, they'll have to take uh, other precautions, either by running away from the enemy or finding a new position to locate to. But it really does help to tell the team when you're going to be ready. And I signal it after I um, fire, after I start reload, and also when I'm just about to shoot, so they know the shell's going to be out very, very shortly. And that round hit the building. And even my bird's singing now. ISM. This turret swung round, dialing in. Oh, and there's a wreck there behind him as well. And it looks like the Waffer, uh, the Borsig just ran into the back of the ISM and died. I don't think he had much in the way of hit points left, but he just died. And now Zoe is one of three members on her team against six opponents. So it's basically one against two or two against one. Well, the odds have actually gone in their favour now because it's only three versus five. They just lost their batch at. That's two, Zo two RT on Zoe's team and three RT on the enemy team. And there's Scorpion G just took a big hit and Zoe can finish him off. Yes, she does. That's Zoe's second kill. Now she's in the long reload. But it's now one heavy tank on the enemy team, and that's the mouse. And he was badly damaged the last time I saw him. And on Zoe's team, they got the Wizzy 1115A. Now, he's not so badly damaged. He's still got 28% of his health remaining. And he's gone into a position near the cliff to, I think, check for where that mouse is. At least I hope he finds the mouse. If he does, that allows Zoe to put a shell into him. So he's completing her load. Three shells. Well, last time the mouse was seen, he was in D4. The Wizzy 111 is going by the cliff edge. He should proxy spot that mouse if the mouse is there. 
So he's looking as well. Any sign, any trace? Doesn't appear to be at the moment. Obviously, sometimes you're looking for a moving wreck, um, a bit of scenery that gets knocked over, you know, a, a fence or um, a cart or a wagon or something like that. All those little signs, those little clues that tell you somebody is there, but they can't be seen by one of our tanks, but they're obviously having an effect. And the enemy artist turned up a T92 HMC and he just got wiped out. And there's the mouse. And the Wizzy 111 is getting behind the house, so he fires around in, gets a hit for 43. There's still 278 hit points to go, he's only on 9% health. So he's almost got another round ready. She fires out straight away and he hits the mouse! It hits him, but we don't know how much damage it did. We can't see him, so we can't shoot. She's marking the area. Oh, a tree went down! So there's a tree down on the left side, just further to the left. The tree went down. I think that's the mouse backing up. Those are the little clues you search for. Anything that tells you where the enemy is by what they do to the scenery. Now, there are illegal mods that show you where the destruction is actually being made. Those are illegal. You're not allowed those under the game. But what you are allowed is your eyeball. You are allowed to spot anything, any damage being done by the enemy. And the mouse is killed by the Wizzy 1115A. And Zoe's happy about that. So now, far from being six versus three, it's now three versus two. Or rather, it was actually two, uh, three versus six. Oh no, we've lost the Wizzy 1115A. The enemy M53, M55 got him. Now Zoe's in reload. She elected to go for a full reload. 48.68 seconds, is that 46.6 seconds? I obviously need my glasses at this moment. I didn't go to Specsavers. Well, I did actually, but that's a joke for everybody in the UK. 46.6 seconds, I can see. Okay, in the back, uh, the match at 155.55's found the school bus. There it is, big yellow school bus. So he's trying to get a shot, and there's the M53, M55. So he's waiting for the turret to turn round. The M53, M55 is firing at our bat chat. He's totally missed Zoe. Zoe fires around and takes him out with one shot. 330 hit points. That means, oh, the bat chat did it. He took out the school bus, and that's a win. So they were at a disadvantage, but they still pulled through and carried it for their team. Three kills for Zoe. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it's a second class tanker for Zoe Balls in the Batcher Tilly on 155.58. She also managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. She got 11 in that game, but unfortunately she didn't get any epic medals. And that's very sad because she did put enough effort in at the end. And it was a very interesting RT versus RT showdown. Um, so let's have a look at the end of battle. Well, Wizzy 1115A, Model 5A. He managed to get 6,774 hit points of damage in that battle. He did pick up the high caliber. Um, the next high scorer was the uh, mouse. He got 2,878 hit points of damage. And after that, well, Zoe got 2,065 hit points of damage. And the batch at 155.55 and D1008, he got 1,166 hit points of damage. When it came to kills, it was the YZ-111 Model 5A. He got five kills. Uh, then Zoe got in with three, and the Object 257 got three on the enemy team. And the other 155.55, or the Bat Chat 155.55, got one kill. Um, when it came to base XP, uh, it was the YZ-111 5A again. 1,235 uh, base XP. Then came Zoe with 749 and that bat chat who stayed alive, he got 624. Let's have a look at the uh, detail report. Well, Zoe fired 18 rounds in that battle. She got seven direct hits and one penetration and 12 splash. Damage of 2,065 hit points, of which 1,883 were at more than 300 meters. She spotted one enemy vehicle. That was, I think, the M53, M55. And she damaged six of the enemy, killed three of them, and did damage assistance, stun assistance, I should say, of 1,308 hit points of 10 stuns. On a premium account, she earned 46,145 credits, and after ammunition resupply, remember she was using premium ammo 
throughout the entire game. Uh, she actually ended up with a deficit, a loss of 47,455 credits for that game. So it's a big loss. But uh, um, where a lot of those shells had an effect, I don't know. But they probably did during that game. And, uh, well, she picked up 1,124 base XP, um, XP rather, on a premium. And uh, there was no multipliers, so that's all she took away. But it was a good game. And it was nice that it was RT versus RT right at the end. And that Zoe came out on top. So, if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel, and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.